In this video, I'm going to share with you on how to play legato on the trombone. If you're new here, my name is Paul the Trombonist. I've dedicated my life to everything trombone. I'm a professional trombone player in Los Angeles. Let's get right to it. Now, the trombone is interesting in the sense that we don't have any keys, buttons, or valves to facilitate the way the notes change. So we have to rely a lot on our tongue. And a trombonist's best friend is our tongue. And everything that we do when we play the trombone has to have really good articulations. And we have to have really strong tongue muscles to vary our different articulations because we can't depend on some of the other devices that other instruments have, as I mentioned before. So one of the ways we like to play legato on the instrument is we want to utilize the tongue in very specific ways to articulate. The syllable that we like to use for a lot of legato playing that I like to use specifically is the syllable da. So when you use the syllable da, watch what happens. <laughs> So we use the syllable da, and what you do is you just practice it on one note first so you get comfortable before you start to go into different notes. So it's really simple. The exercise I like to do is we just go like this. So say you're on an F here, we're just going to go da. <laughs> What we do with a metronome is we're gonna speed it up ever so slightly little by little and you're gonna get more comfortable doing it at faster tempos the reason we want to get comfortable doing it at faster tempos is because that means you're gonna be more in control of the tongue if you can do it at faster tempos when we start to pull it back down and bring it to slower tempos you're gonna be more in control and it's gonna have a much more fluid sound so check it out Another thing that happens, I notice, is I start to do legato playing. So I start to notice that the th my throat starts to drop a bit. And it's more like a yaw kind of a feeling. If you feel the throat and you go yaw, I start to notice when I do legato articulation, it drops down a bit. And it just allows for more of that fluidness. So that's the idea. Another way we can really strengthen your legato playing is to get rid of the tongue completely. To not have any tongue. Get rid of the tongue completely. And this happens over time. The more you start to do long tones, the more you start to get a stronger embouchure. That's just your muscles and the shape of your muscles are strong and they can hold that seal efficiently on how you play. What ends up happening is you can be in a situation where you use no tongue for legato playing. And if you can do that and use no tongue, when you start to use a legato articulation after that, watch what happens. You're even in more command. You even have more control over the legato playing. So without any tongue whatsoever, it's something like this. So there's no tongue. It's just air. Now I'll add the da to that after I did that with just air. So just to let you know what it sounds like with just air, it's Something like that, I don't remember exactly. That is just with the air. With air, it's just the word, it's like the word ah. It's like ah. You want to think no tongue at all is happening. There's no tongue at all, it's just air. Ah, ah, ah. So whenever you say ah and you sing like ah, that's what I mean with no tongue on the trombone. Now we're going to add the da to that and watch what happens. <laughs> Cleaner, right? You notice that? You hear the difference, how much cleaner it is? And we just practice that. We just do it as much as we can with different scales, arpeggios. Once with no tongue, just air. Sounds kind of sloppy, but now let's add the tongue. Da. And another thing you're going to notice too, if you're just using just air, when you're in the mid to upper register, you can use no tongue and it will sound pretty good, pretty flowing. 
But when you get down to the lower register, it starts to get a little muddy like you heard me do. Was it, you heard that? Right, it's kind of weird. But now if I do it up an octave, watch how and listen to how it sounds. Much cleaner, even though it was just air. And the reason is the notes are getting closer and closer together, which means there's less movement between the vibrations, which makes the ear perceive that it's more connected. If you were to analyze it, that's what's going on there. So the way we do this is different. First of all, a mental conception of what's going on here and how the tongue is really flickering right here. The tongue is flickering here and it's acting as like a little gate between the air and where the note starts to give it a little more articulation so it's clear when you speak. And that goes with all different types of articulations. There's other types of legato articulations too. So in addition to da, you can experiment with lu. Lu is another one, lu lu. I don't use lu too much. Let's be honest with you, I don't use it too much. I use, my go-to is da, really. What else we got? Low. Don't really use that too much. I don't know if other people use it. I just kind of made it up right now because it seemed like an legato articulation. Maybe some of you use it out there. I'm not really quite sure. But the point here is that when you think of different articulations that allow the air to be connected, that's the point here. And the one that I found the best is da. For me personally, okay, da. Da, 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 da. Da's our friend. All right, well, hopefully you found that valuable. Maybe rewatch it if you need to brush up on it. Save it to your playlist if you need to brush up on it. And appreciate you all tremendously. We are on a mission to reach 100,000 subscribers. We're halfway there at the time of the upload of this video. And it mean the world to me if you subscribe. That's all. That's all I ask for is just a little subscribe. And check it out. Once we get that uh, YouTube award, we're going to hang it right up there so we can all celebrate together. And I appreciate you tremendously. This is Paul the Trombonist signing off.